trout rods, salmon rods, striper rods, helmet rods, downrigger rods, lead core rods, spinning rods, and more. If you want a high quality, high performance rod that won't let you down out on the water, go to fishhuntshoot.com and check out our selection of high quality, high performance fishing rods. My rods are equipped with Abu Garcia Cardinal Reels and they're both spooled up with moss green 8 pound trilene monofilament. On the business end of the rigs, I've got a uh, sliding sinker rig set up and it looks like this. My main line comes down, I thread it through an egg sinker, that's about a quarter ounce egg sinker. Very often I'll use a bullet weight, but today I just had egg sinkers, so I'll run with those. Bullet weights tend not to get it snagged quite as much, so, so I prefer those, but uh, egg sinkers work fine too. Right behind the sinker, I have a bead, and the bead just protects the knot from the weight. I have a swivel knotted on, and then to that swivel, I've got about a 20 to 24 inch fluorocarbon leader. This is eight pound fluorocarbon. Um, fluorocarbon reflects light at the same rate as water, so it's essentially invisible to the fish. And I've got that piece of fluorocarbon tipped with a number 10 octopus hook. And we'll get a closer look at all that when I, when I bait up. But that's the basic rig. It's just a standard sliding sinker rig for trout. When I'm bank fishing for trout, this rig accounts for about 90% about of the fish I catch in any given year. Whether I'm fishing with power bait, Potsky fire bait, salmon eggs, or inflated worms. Those are pretty much the four baits that I use, and uh, it's just deadly. I've been using this same rig for 25 years, and I've literally, literally caught thousands of trout on it. Okay, here's a close-up of my egg sinker, bead, and swivel, and there you see the octopus hook next to it. Now, a lot of folks ask me, when you're fishing dough baits, don't you need to use a treble hook? Absolutely not. I mean, you can if you want to but I do just fine with an octopus hook, just like that. Here's some power bait. I've rolled it into a ball. I like to use about a quarter inch ball of bait. I take my octopus hook. I start it in, it's kind of like I'm baiting up a salmon egg. I start the hook into the bait. I push it around. And then I kind of mold it around the eye, just so it holds on. The hook point is almost exposed. There you go. Simple as that. That's how you bait up with power bait. 